So me and my grandmother are going to react to the comments on this viral video I posted of Jalen Turner talking about how skateboarding is harder than UFC. But first, we're at the skate park and somebody built a concrete ramp here. So I want to check it out. So what's harder, skateboarding or UFC fighting? <laughs> skateboarding. UFC. Like uh, boxing, stuff like that. Fighting or skating? E boxing. What's harder on your body? Boxing. 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 Boxing's way harder. Yeah. Can you drop into this on a skateboard? Hell no. <laughs> Can you not fight? Like that. <laughs> I cannot. Maybe. He knocked him out in one plane. <laughs> Maybe he I, was fighting really good. Maybe he's Boy, I'm getting old. But I can do the twist. <laughs> so I posted this video on Instagram from ESPN or something. Was skateboarding harder on your body than fighting? Way more. Uh, the things that I've accomplished in fighting, I didn't accomplish in skateboarding. And I skateboarded for like, like seven years. So this video got 15,000 likes and 498,000 views. So let's read some of the comments. So he's saying that he used to be a skateboarder and now he's a fighter and that skateboarding was way harder than fighting. Let's, well, it's harder to become a professional in, I guess. It's harder to accomplish, get to that same level that he's at in fighting because he's like a world champion fighter. So let's read some of these comments, see what people had to say. There's 477 comments on this video. Seven years, those are rookie numbers. There's 18 replies to that. The best way to go viral on Instagram is just get people to argue in the comment section. We've got one that says, I've been saying skateboarding is the hardest sport on the planet for a long time. And let's see what some of the comments say to that. Well, first off, that post has 1,623 likes. And the first comment's like, you're wrong. And then what's the hardest sport then? And he just says, not skateboarding. Then that's not the question that I ask you. Remember what the question was? And he says, literally anything but skateboarding. Maybe even chess. And then we've got a reply to that that says, it take you two plus years to learn to kickflip. And then we got a reply, I skateboard every day and I play chess every day. What do you think is harder, skateboarding or fighting? Uh, skateboarding. Well, when you're skateboarding, you hit the concrete. And the concrete is a lot harder than a fist. But personally, I'd rather skateboard than get into a fight. Just because I've been doing it for so long, I'm not gonna fall. If you know how to fall, it's way easier. Because fighting, you're guaranteed to get hurt. But skateboarding, you probably won't get hurt if you know what you're doing. Oh man, there's 118 replies to that comment. We got a comment, golf is much harder than skateboarding. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you know what LMAO means? No. Yeah, you don't want to know what that means. Uh, so we got jujitsu, hockey. That's a pretty good one. Hockey's pretty tough. We've got skateboarding is the hardest sport and that's why it's labeled extreme sports. Do you guys remember when the X Games just started in like 93 and there was like rock climbing and kite surfing in the X Games? Somebody wrote, I did jujitsu for seven years. And while it's physically more difficult, in my opinion, I don't think it's technically harder. So yeah, anyone could throw a punch, but not, but not anyone could land a kickflip. It's probably easier to get into fighting. Would you rather stand on a skateboard or get in a fight? I'd rather stand on a skateboard. So I'll let you guys go in and read all these comments. There's a ton of them. Let's go to the other video. I posted it didn't do as well as this one this one got 541 likes and 17,999 views so far I didn't realize you were such a good skateboarder like I saw you hitting like switch trays and everything like that why in the world did you not become a professional skateboarder that that was actually like my first goal when I was younger I wanted to be a professional skateboarder um, life happened I um, didn't have the support I, I I had a fear of heights, so that kind of played a big factor. I would. So what do I think? Um, for me personally, I'd much rather skateboard because I'm good at it. But if I was really good at fighting, then I'd probably get hurt more skateboarding. So for me, 
I never get hurt skateboarding, so I'd probably get hurt more like playing golf or playing tennis or pickleball than I would skateboarding. So I'd have to say that for me, skateboarding's easier. But for most people, it's probably easier to throw a punch than to do a kickflip. So take that however you want. <laughs> All right, so my grandmother's really funny, but when you take somebody who's not used to being in front of a camera or making YouTube videos and you try to put them in front of a camera and make them make YouTube videos, it gets really awkward. So let's read some of these comments. I don't know how you guys be bailing off huge stair sets. Just pick yourself up and try again. Let's read the comments to that. There's so many of these. Cause it's fun. Sad reality is a lot of skaters are hurting inside and trying to find a way to cope with the world without hurting and destroying ourselves emotionally. He used to demoralize me during sparring sessions. Love that dude. Like I got some actual comments from UFC fighters and people who like coach UFC and stuff like that, like trainers. UFC must just have a huge following. Like it must be so much bigger than skateboarding and like the fan base of skateboarding because this video went crazy viral. I've, I've definitely had videos go way more viral than this. I've had some with like 15 million views and stuff like that. But 400 or 500,000, that's pretty good. All right, so I'm not gonna read every single one of these comments, but go check out the clip on Instagram and read the comments for yourself. Leave me a comment on there. It definitely helps in the algorithm. It helps if you have something controversial to say and people can argue in the comment section. Whenever people are arguing, they're more fired up to leave a comment. People would rather leave a mean comment than a nice comment these days. So whenever you can say something controversial on the internet, go ahead and do it. This video actually really helped me in the algorithm. Now all my Instagram clips are getting more views and my followers are going up like a few hundred since I posted this clip, so it definitely helped. So thank you, Jalen Turner, you helped me out. It wasn't ESPN that I stole that from, it was some kind of UFC page or something, I don't remember. So yeah, he's six foot three and a lightweight fighter. Like, how big are these heavyweight fighters? I know I'm taller and heavier than Mike Tyson, but I think Mike Tyson got heavier than me at one point, but now he's like super light, he's gonna fight Jake Paul or whatever. Who do you guys think is going to win in that fight? I still kind of think Mike Tyson might win. I know he's like 58 or something, and Jake Paul's like 27, 28, but I still think he's probably the greatest fighter of all time, so he's probably still going to win. But yeah, I'm not that interested in fighting or comments or arguing, but yeah, go read the comments if you want. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because I got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching. I'll probably have another video coming out this week. This one's pretty easy to edit.